Have you ever finished playing an awesome guitar part or piano part, some sort of acoustic instrument part, and have been using the click track, and you hit the last chord, and as your instrument fades away, the click track starts being audible on the recording? Well, today I am going to show you the way to make sure that that never happens. So I've recorded two demos here with my acoustic guitar, and we're just gonna play the first one here uh, at the top. At the very end of this, you will hear that click track. I'm gonna turn it up a little bit. The settings are a little on the extreme side just to sort of demonstrate the problem here. But anyway, here's what we got, and you'll hear that click track at the end. This is normal. <laughs> Right, that, that is something I'm sure a bunch of you have heard before. And if you do this with a bunch of different takes, there's a compounding factor there. So that click track is gonna bleed through on every single one and it's just gonna be extra loud at the end of the song, okay? So now here's one that I've done using my trick and let me mute this and I'll just play the, well, let's go back to the top. No big deal, here we go. <laughs> right? No click track there. Let me just show you how to do this, okay? It's really, really easy. So here's what you want to do. First thing, go up to the track pull down menu, go to show master track, okay? Now you want the automation to be turned on, so I'm going to simply push the A button on my keyboard, and that turns the automation on. Now I'm going to take the volume automation line, and I'm going to place a point right at that last hit and then one right after it, and then I'm gonna drag this thing down. This volume on the master output here will control the volume of everything, right? So this means it's the track you're recording and listening to, as well as that tempo track, the click track, right? One thing I will recommend to make sure that you get the proper length on your fade outs is to record with an ear popped out of you know the headphones so you have one ear exposed to the room, that way you can make sure when you hit that last chord uh, that you will hear it ring out as long as you need to ring it out. But when you do this, when you turn down the metronome at this point, that metronome will just boom, go away. And I'm pretty sure I can demo that by simply turning the click track on and just go like this. And it's gone. So that's it. Super easy, quick video for you guys today. But I just wanted to show you, this is, you know, I know this is a problem we all have. And I was thinking about putting this in like a top five garage band things, something like that. But I wanted to make sure that this was an isolated video. I know it's not a long one, but anyway, I hope you get something out of this as per usual. Thank you for watching. Please, 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 at least consider joining me over on Patreon. Um, that is the thing that keeps this channel afloat. And if you like the videos and learn from my videos, I'd be super appreciative of the fact that you just went and checked it out at least, you know? Um, also, please find me on Instagram and Facebook because we're over there all the time, posting pictures and videos and chatting away. So, you know, that's it. Otherwise, have a great day. Peace and love.